This video includes my favorite action shots from the Topps 1966 baseball card set. I'll start with the fielding positions and then I'll move on to the batting positions. Pitching is Juan Marichal. Looks to me like he's going to throw a fastball. This is one of my favorite pitching uh, action shots uh, all time. Even though it, it's not an action shot from a game, it's a pose, but I think it's a really good pose it, and it, it helps that it's Juan Marichal because you know he's good in the first place. Catching is Tim McCarver. I think that's a really good action shot. He looks like he's going to gun down the player at second base. A very good pose. He has several. He has some good hitting poses too. At first base is Ken Harrelson. And this position, when I was a kid, I didn't really, you know, think much of this. But now that I've been, been looking at this from year to year, uh, this is really a good pose. He's got a first baseman's mitt. He's leaning forward towards the ball. And uh, this is the best one for 1966. At second base is Joe Morgan. And who knew at the time uh, what a great star Joe Morgan would become. But here he's got a good pose where he looks like he's waiting for a ground ball to come to him. At third base is my favorite fielding shot from the set, and that's Cleet Boyer. Looks like he's coming in on a ground ball. He also has several good poses in over different uh, top sets through the 60s. At short is Don Kessinger. Looks like he's anticipating a ground ball being hit to him. At third is Ron Taylor. I realize it's a pitcher, but there weren't very many, uh, if any, outfielders who actually posed in, in fielding action shots. So generally I use pitchers and uh, he looks like he's in left field moving towards a ball. Uh, he later became a real good relief pitcher for the Mets and a doctor. In center field is Kurt Schilling, a uh, Chuck Schilling. And uh, I realize he's a, it's, it's an infielder, but he looks like he could be in center field uh, waiting for the ball to be hit out there. And then in right field is Larry Brown. Again, it's an infielder, but he looks like he could be holding the position. Among the batters, we have leading off, Bill Mazeroski, to me, this is uh, one of the, uh, this is the best pose for this set, and it's one of the best poses uh, of all of the top sets because he, he's focused on the ball. He, he looks very balanced, looks like he's going to hit it uh, with power. Batting second is Ron Swoboda. I remember this card from when I was a kid, and uh, it looks like he's going to pull one over the left field fence. Uh, this set to me is like it's one of the first of the a, a classic run of sets through the 60s maybe it's just because of the age that i was in where the colors uh stayed the same in 1966 into uh 68 and 69 also used the same colors. so where the mets are purple here they the the uh designs on the 68 and 69 sets also were purple um back third is jim stewart Jim Stewart, I didn't have that card when I was a kid, but he looks like he's he's going to pull it over the right field fence. Batting cleanup, we have Gene Freeze. I did have that card, and this is probably the card that I had. These cards aren't all in really good condition. A lot of them have writing on the back from when I was a kid. So I used to play games with them based on how they looked, not based on who the player was. Eddie Brazud is batting fifth. And again, this isn't the card I had as a kid, but it's a very good pose. Uh, with the Mets, he looks like he's going to hit a line drive out to left center, followed by Rusty Staub. And I, I, I really like this card. He looks like he's going to pull it to right field. I think it's the best pose of all of the Rusty Staub cards of all of the different teams that he played with through his career. Followed by Rocky Calavito, great player with the Indians. He played earlier in his career with the Indians and with the Tigers. Here he's back with the Indians again. Then we have Floyd Robinson. Um, I don't know how tall Floyd Robinson was, but just the way they took this picture, he doesn't look like he's very big compared to the other picture. So I, as a kid, when you play games, this would be a, a single hitter here based on that pose. And then Jerry Lynch uh, bats ninth. And I remember this card from, I, I don't know, the first grade or at some point where uh, this was one of the cards in, in the games that I played. So, I'll, so he's got to be part of this team. And he looks like he's going to pull it out to right field there. So here we are with the whole team, the fielders on the left and the batters on the right. And I think at this point in time, uh, maybe it's just me from, from my experience with it as a kid, but now the poses are better than they were uh, in the earlier years. And um, now through the early 70s, uh, you see some really good action poses in the top sets. So I hope you enjoyed them and um, I'll be posting more in the future. Thanks.